Knowledge acquired through basic research has a tremendous impact on the way the pharmaceuticals and biotechnological industries develop. For instance, to develop new drugs, scientists use information collected from many different fields, such as genomics, proteomics, structural, or quantitative biology. The rise of those fields has only become available thanks to basic research. Professor Gebhard Schertler, head of the Division of Biology and Chemistry at the Paul Scherer Institute, is a successful entrepreneur and, above all, a researcher. He shares his views on the challenges and opportunities of modern drug discovery, as well as on the recent progress that have made it so promising. What the real opportunities today are, we can include many more sources of information in drug discovery. And this can be cellular information, biological information. Our mechanistic understanding in the widest sense is really increasing. And finally, we also can include mechanistic information where we really have true pictures how a drug binds to a molecule. And this can help in selectivity. But we also can figure out, and this is really new, the molecule not only in one state but multiple states which are all relevant for different signals in the cell. And this gives new access to side effects, how we can prevent them, how we can understand them. And this is really true opportunities in pharmacology. In addition, we can start to use quantitative mathematical models to develop also pictures of how cellular action and even organic and organismic interaction action can come about and this has not been possible before and I think so we are really going in a complete new age of drug discovery however also in a new complexity of drug discovery. The Paul Scherer Institute is Switzerland's largest research center for natural and engineering sciences and employs more than 2,000 people. It operates four large research facilities that offer outstanding opportunities for basic research. Among others, Professor Schertler leads his own research group in the laboratory of biomolecular research. It focuses mostly on the structure of membrane proteins. The laboratory also works on cellular complexes and bioimaging methods. The core advantage of the location is its large research facilities, in particular, Swiss Light Source Synchroton and X-ray Free Electron Laser Swissfell. Combined with a very strong transformational potential of the whole ecosystem, it is a major plus that the pharmaceutical industry can truly benefit from. It is not a single method or the single thing that we apply. We have a multitude of expertise that we can bring to pair together in particular problems. We can also interface successfully with the companies. We have about a thousand contracts outside of PSI and we have now the translational area, which is the Park Innovare, and we can develop whole new technologies. But the main thing is, this is a transformational potential. So with this, we can explore the borders of our present technological possibilities. That very often, like in science before, can also really lead to paradigm exchange. It's when, for example, the telescope was invented that really the organization of the solar system became much more obvious. In December 2016, the Paul Scherer Institute launched the Swissvel, a 700-meter-long free electron laser. This new facility, one of very few in the world, is based on a novel technology and holds exceptional promise for diverse areas of scientific research. It will provide unprecedented insights into structures as small as an atom and into phenomena as fast as the vibrations of molecular bonds. In my view, it is a real dramatic change of our ability to look at catalysis in general and at processes at biomolecules. Uh, we have to realize that Swissfell is not providing a linear extension of capabilities. The brilliance increase from the synchrotron to the free electron laser is 10 to the 9. This is an incredible step and it's not just a linear extension. I call this sometimes we are going to discover a new continent. 
And for a scientist, I think this is a good analogy. It also means we don't know exactly what we will find on that co con continent. But already we can describe what we for sure will find on that continent, because we have already seen it. We can retrieve dynamic information at room temperature from biomolecules that bind ligands, and we have already seen that this dynamic information is directly relevant to the medicinal chemist. For example, he can see which parts of the ligand are rigidly bound with the protein and which are more mobile. So this information he can directly feed in the drug discovery chemistry. And that creates a more potent and faster way to create lead compounds which have a biological activity. This then has to be obviously combined with a lot of other data, but we are really in a new dimension of structural biology which takes into consideration dynamics. And the industry will have to learn to read that information. And actually, this is why we have to also prove to the industry by creating our own drug discovery program that this is useful information and we can translate that information. And I think this will create value in a company first, but then it will be a stepping stone that this information about ligand protein interaction dynamic will be widely applied in pharmacology. Involved in the foundation of some innovative biotech companies, Professor Shirtler substantially contributes to the translational effort of the Paul Scherer Institute to bring basic research results to industry. He serves as a counselor and scientific advisor for a number of biotech spin-offs in Park Innovare's ecosystem. Why that and why here? Or in other words, what makes this ecosystem so unique and special? So first I would like to say I'm really a basic research person and I had to look as a job after industry relations at the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge for 18 years. So I made some experience I didn't want to make, but it turned out to be a very important experience later. So like everything else, I think translation sometimes benefits from having tried it before. And then I have failed with the first company, that's very important, I think I learned a lot. And the first thing I learned there is do nothing you don't understand yourself. So really get help, create a team. And the second part is, is really do only things where there is actually expertise or advantage present. Now, in this particular environment, we have a biology lab focused already on membrane proteins, which is my own expertise. We in addition have accelerator expertise, which brought the room temperature crystallography and completely new possibilities, which actually are not commonly found somewhere else. So there was a real unique thing that we can work on. So the free electron laser serial crystallography and room temperature crystallography then can form a uniqueness which really justify forming a new enterprise. And then, finally, you have to see a clear view how that would differentiate the company from other companies that already exist. And that very often means you are doing something the others do not believe in or do not yet believe in. And all this has to do with risk. But in a site like here, the risk can be managed because we have reputation, we have expertise, and we have infrastructure. The willingness to share knowledge and expertise between all the stakeholders is key to innovation. A successful collaboration between industry and academia leads to more effective R&D activities. The Paul Scherer Institute has a long tradition of collaboration with more than 1,000 contracts with industry. Together with Park Innovare, the Institute has recently started developing a hyper-modern translational area where this collaboration effort can flourish. It was an honor for Park Innovare to speak to Professor Schertler, one of the brightest minds in structural biology. 
We would like to thank him and his team, as well as the Paul Scherer Institute and its spin-offs for their time and contribution in realization of this project. To learn more about our ecosystems and the tremendous opportunities for leading players in biotechnology, please contact us. So I'm very happy if you don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs>